Many millions of us had hoped the presidential election would yield a different result. But our system of government has processes to determine who will be sworn in on January the 20th. The Electoral College has spoken. So today I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. The President-elect is no stranger to the Senate. He's devoted himself to public service for many years. I also want to congratulate the Vice President-elect, our colleague from California, Senator Harris. Beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female vice president-elect for the very first time. While even Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell came forward today to congratulate Biden on his presidential win after it was confirmed by the Electoral College, North Dakota Republican senators have remained quiet or hedged their comments. Both senators told iNews they supported that Texas lawsuit presented to the Supreme Court to toss out votes, which was flatly rejected by the Supreme Court. So I asked both of them this morning if they would support any objections to Biden's win on the House's stamp of approval on January 6th. A group of Trump supporters have said they'll object to the Electoral College's vote, but those possible objections will go nowhere unless they're supported by a senator. I received a no reply from Senator John Hoven, and Senator Kramer's press secretary sent this quote that was given to a D.C. reporter yesterday on whether Kramer would support any objection to approving the vote. Quote, well, it seems to me that being elected by the Electoral College is a threshold where a title like that is probably most appropriate, and it's, I suppose you can say official, if there's such a thing as official president-elect or anything else elect, and there's an inauguration that will swear somebody in, and that person will be president of the United States. But whether you call it that or not, you know, there are legal challenges that are ongoing, not very many probably, not a remedy that would change the outcome, but so I don't, again, I don't know how uh, politicians refer to another politician, but it does look to me like the uh, big race is really between the inaugural committee and the Justice Department at this point, so we'll see how the emails turn out, unquote. That was from Senator Kevin Kramer of North Dakota. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.